and of easing. Senora is appealing to the demonstrators to stop the protests and return to the negotiating table. Russia Today's Middle East correspondent Paula Slia is in the Lebanese capital and she reports now on Nasrallah's speech. A number of messages coming across, but the most important message he is being put forward is that he will continue with this mass demonstration until the government of Prime Minister Fayyad Senora resigns. He says this is an illegitimate government and he is demanding that the government meets his demands of one-third cabinet representation. At the same time, Nasrallah thanked the supporters. He expressed regret that he personally was not able to be here at the demonstration, but of course this is because of security concerns. He also said, and here I'm quoting, that this was a historic and decisive demonstration for Lebanon. And he said that this weekend the demonstration would intensify and that he was calling demonstrators to take to the streets of Beirut in larger numbers than we've seen so far. He also urged other Arab countries such as Egypt and Jordan to extend hands to this anti-government opposition. And then lastly, he's criticized the American president, George W. Bush, saying that you need only to look at what's happened in Iraq today to see what are the, the policies behind the American administration. The real message coming across so far this evening, the Hezbollah supporters, Hassan Nasrallah's demonstration will continue for as long as it takes for the current government of Prime Minister Fayyad Zanora to resign. Paula Slia in Beirut. Well, Kyrgyzstan President Kirmanbek Bakiev will personally supervise the in investigation into the fatal shooting of a fuel company employee by a U.S. serviceman at the Manas Air Base on Wednesday. 42-year-old Alexander Ivanov was taken to...